one of the things that I'm thinking recently, all my awareness has brought to, is about feeling of guilt and how it's masking itself, trying to pretend to be something else. Like in our personal relationships, very often we have a certain standards about ourselves, how we're supposed to be. And when we are in our own eyes and not up to the standards, we feel guilt. And very often to feel better about ourselves. Instead of letting go of the guilt, we're trying to blame other people around us, to bring them down, so we look better in comparison to them. So we're often in conversation when one person saying something to us, oh, you could do that better. We're starting to feel guilty. And because of that guilt, we're not able to take this advice without having negative emotions. And we start to respond to that person in the way, yes, and you could do better in that. Um, and that's how the argument starts. And then it starts to be like a tennis set. When you hit the ball saying, and you can do that. And the opposite person is hitting the ball saying, yes, and you could be better at that. And it continues, continues like that, and like growing, growing, growing. And it could be or can get really big and significant. And it could be resentment. It could be like that person is not talking to you after that. So, so as Ram Das said, it's up to the most conscious person to stop first, to step back and to look at all the situation from the place of observer, from the place of awareness and to realize that what is going on it's just a lot of insecurities a lot of guilt it's not from the place of love and what is not from the place of love doesn't serve us so we need to let it go so it's very good in those situations to be able to stop even though our emotions are still raging inside of us stop Leave the room. Go sit down and meditate. Search your feelings. Know that feelings are complex structures. Many feelings are pretending to be or like covering themselves with more appropriate feelings. Usually this is behind any negative feelings so there is a fear so we can investigate what kind of fear do we have to have those negative feelings and as we started to talk about guilt not that, not just that feeling of guilt covering self with feeling of anger irritation judgment understand that it's all about you if you accept yourself as you are if you love yourself as you are you can let that guilt go and say yeah i'm not perfect but i'm doing my best what i can do if i know better i will do better it is what it is right now let go of that guilt and you will see that you won't need to protect yourself 
by attacking another person. You don't need to respond if they say no. You're not good enough. You could do better at that. Yes, I will. I will try. I always try. You won't blame another person. It's always about you. We're not trying to change another person. We're always working on ourselves. In each situation, we can find a potential for growth. Behind each negative emotion, there is a potential for growth. And the more you go, the deeper you go, you will see that after all these low hanging fruits are worked through, all those negative emotions are worked through, you're really happy to experience a negative emotion. Because it's like, oh yeah, I still can work on that. I still, it's like it's giving me opportunity. It's giving me an opportunity for growth. And you will start to appreciate your life partners much more. Ram Dass a big teacher for me. I never seen him, but he's a big teacher for me. And his words are very often coming to my mind. And he was saying that your golf relationships are one of the hardest to be in the world to be with your family, with your kids, with your loved ones. They trigger you all the time. It's really hard. But it's so much growth for you. And in this time, when we're locked inside our houses with people that we love the most, it could be very, very hard. But it's a lot of opportunity for growth. So use that opportunity. And you will see that you will start to appreciate your spouse and your kids for helping you to grow. You start to appreciate them as individual souls to see beyond this one incarnation. And I'm not the exception. Sometimes it could be so hard. One time I was so mad at my husband. And I went, sat down, trying to calm myself down, to meditate, to sort things out. And I was thinking, how, how, I know that because he's my husband. He's like, he's a very close soul to me. Because, you know, like those people that become our kids, our husbands, that are those souls that we met with many times. So I, they really dear to us. We love them a lot. But how that, that I'm so angry at him. I'm so frustrated. I don't feel any love. And in one moment, I had like this, thought that, yes, that's the illusion, that's the Maya, that's not allowing me to see the beauty of that soul, the love I have for that soul. And the moment I realized that, all my anger dissipated. And when negative emotions, especially fears, are going away, the empty space is always filled with love. So my negative emotions were immediately replaced by love. And I went back to my husband, but now with completely different emotions. You know, like when we're approaching anything in life with love, it's helping, it's helping to calm down other people too. Because everybody is good. 
they doing their best. If they're not doing their best in your opinion, it's just because they can. At this moment, they can. So have compassion, have love, have forgiveness. Thank you and have a great day.